Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. Jake here for you this week. Got a bunch of products to show you, some new things that we've been waiting for to come in for a while, and some totally out there products and unique things that you've probably never seen before. The first one I'm going to go over with you is the new Six Sense Mini Mag Square Bill Crankbait. As you can see, this is a large crankbait. I believe it's a little over three inches long. It weighs almost an ounce. This is just going to be great for those times that you're trying to get that bigger bite, maybe at the end of the day, you're trying to put a kicker fish in the boat, or you're just out there just trying to target larger than average fish in general. It's silent, so it's got a wide wobble, so it pushes a lot of water, but I love the silent versions because I feel like they get trigger those bigger bites, those more, more wary bass out there. But like all the Six Sense products, as you can see here, got phenomenal paint jobs. They're almost like custom painted crankbaits. They come with black split rings, EWG style treble hooks. So these things are like tournament ready, tournament grade, you know, right out of the box. They're ready to fish. Checked out the new mini mag there from, from Six Sense. All right, on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, real small crankbait. This is from OSP. This is the new Tiny Blitz DR crankbait. Now we've already carried the Tiny Blitz, I believe in an in a MR model. The DR gets you down to that in that about 10 to 12 foot range, but again, it's silent crankbait, so perfect for those times when you got clear water or the fish are just real finicky and you gotta, you know, gotta change it up a little bit, be a little bit more subtle to trigger bites. This is an awesome little crankbait. It's got a real tight wobble, real finesse style crankbait. And the bill on here, it's a rounded bill, but it's almost squared off on the end, so it deflects really well off cover. Um, generates lots of bites, especially when it's tough out there. So check out the new OSP uh, Tiny Blitz, especially for all you JDM tackle junkies. All right, for Big Bite Lures, this is the iCast release. We got the new Pro Swimmer. As you can see, you know, the soft plastic style swim bait that, you know, a lot of us are familiar with. They come in the clamshell packaging, so it keeps its tail completely straight. What I like about the Big Bite Pro Swimmers, it's not loaded down with scent or any kind of salt, so they're really durable. They have really tough plastics, which is hard to find in these styles of uh, swim baits. So I think these are gonna be excellent for those times you're fishing through heavy cover, maybe like as a swim jig trailer, or just you know fishing on a straight EWG hook through thick brush, or even Alabama rigs or umbrella rigs. So you know it's, they're not gonna get torn up as much. So when you're catching fish after fish, you're not gonna have to replace your replace your baits as many as many times. So check, the, check out the Pro Swimmer by Big Bite Baits. All right, got a couple funky ones here that doesn't look like anything else on the market. From A3 Anglers, this is the new multi-bait rig. Um, if you're familiar with A3 Anglers, they have this uh, patented shutter blade design. It's almost like a vibrating jig, but it's not a metal lip. It's a polycarbonate lip, so it's completely, you know, it's, it's see-through, so it's a little bit less obtrusive. This multi-bait rig, it's got two screw lock keepers on here for two trailers and then a jig head for your main, your main bait with a hook on it. So, you know, it's legal in all 50 states, so if you're worried about, you know, laws like, that fall under like umbrella rigs where you can't run multiple hooks, this is legal everywhere. And if you're just trying to get into umbrella rigs, or, you know, that style multi-bait rigs, this is a great stepping stone to get into that. It's, you can throw this on any kind of rod and reel combo, it's not too much. Plus you get tremendous action on it. So you get, you know, the, the visual appearance of three baits plus the action of a vibrating jig all in one. So just awesome new bait there by A3 Anglers. To go along with that, we got their new double underspin rig. So again, got that shutter blade on there. So it generates a tremendous vibration, really gets your baits going and hits them kicking and gets an erratic action. But now on the bottom, we got two underspin blades on there. So it generates a lot of flash, a lot of vibration. So just again, getting that bait ball presentation just looks like a small school of, of vulnerable bait fish. To check these out by A3 Anglers. All right, next up from Greenfish. Always stoked to see something new from Greenfish just because you know if it's from Greenfish, it's always a quality product. This is their new uh, crawl ball shaky head. So if you're familiar with Greenfish, they already make the crawl ball football jig head, which is their crawl ball is their, their football head with this kind of scallop head design on there. Now it, since it's a football head shape, it comes through rocks and hard cover, especially ledges, uh, tremendously. And that scalloped um, design on there, it almost looks like a crawdad, you know, a, a tucked crawdad tail on there. So this is great for worms, but it's also going to be excellent if you, uh, if you like to throw like a creature cross style bait on a shaky head. Premium hook on there, super durable um, powder coating finish. Check out that one from, from Greenfish Tackle. All right, from Trapper, another one that's kind of out there is the new Trapper EWG treble hook. Uh, all the Trapper Tackle hooks have that Trapper box design on there that really pins fish and keeps them locked in there. It makes it really hard for them to shake the hook. Now they went with the EWG style treble, so the points are kind of turned in, you know, like an EWG or triple grip style treble. So you combine that with the trapper box, and this is gonna be awesome for crankbaits, 
square bills, lipless crankbaits, and you're gonna, you're gonna hook and land a lot more fish. Once you get these hooks um, into a fish, it's gonna be almost impossible for them to throw. So check out that new treble there from Trapper. All right, from Ram Mount, we got a couple things here. The first one is the Ram Mount Torque Wrench. So all of you guys know if you've ever used a Ram Mount um, or if you know, you're know you making long runs, 70 miles an hour, you know, across 20 miles of water, and you know your Ram Mount sometimes will get loose. Um, you know, the lockdown lever gets a little loosened up and your, your graphs will slide down and whatnot. Um, this is gonna eliminate that. You can really get down and, you know, torque those, uh, those handles down and lock your ram mounts into place. And then, you know, once they're locked in, when you wanna take them off, easy to undo them and get them off. Just an awesome little tool there from ram mount. To go along with that, we got the ram mount's security locking nut. Now these replace the internal nut on most of the arms on ram mounts. So that you can put these in there and then you're not gonna have to worry about taking your ram your electronics off every time if you, uh, if you store your boat outside or um, you're at a tournament and you're leaving it at, you know, at a boat slip overnight. No one's gonna be able to go in there and, and undo your electronics and take them. So just, you know, nice little security system, a little peace of mind that, to prevent people from undoing your mounts and then and stealing your electronics. So check that out from Ram Mount, awesome stuff. All right, next up from Seaguar, we got the new Seaguar Smackdown braided line. So we got it in a couple new colors. We got it in the stealth gray, which I love, and then we're gonna have it soon in a flash green. So it's a super bright green color, gonna be good for offshore, anyone doing finesse angling. If you've never used Seaguar Smackdown, I highly recommend it. It's an eight carrier braid, so it's super, super smooth. It almost doesn't feel like braid. It almost feels like a fluorocarbon or mullet filament. And it's ultra thin diameter for each pound test. If you check out you know, their, their line size, how, how thick it is compared to some of the other braids, they're actually relatively a lot smaller than most other braids. Just awesome product by Seaguar. We're stoked to ha finally have the new braid back in. Make sure you check that one out. All right, next up from 13 Fishing, we got the new TXZ casting reel. So this is an inshore style reel. So they've used their, their Z bearing technology and then they've combined it with the old TX model that's got the, the Ocean Armor 2 technology in it. So completely corrosion resistant. Um, it's got drain ports on both sides. So uh, it's not gonna hold any salt water or any kind of anything like that inside of it. So it'll always drain and keep dry. You're not gonna have any issues, you know, fishing, you know, 365 days a year in salt water. Plus got those big heavy duty knobs on the handle so you get extra cranking power when you're fight, you know, fighting those big aggressive fish. Also it's got 22 pounds of drag. So you can really lock this thing down and, and battle you know, some you know, big bull reds, you know, any kind of big inshore species like that. So check out the new uh, 13 TXZ. All right, next up from Falcon, we got the new Lowrider series in here. So a new updated version of the Lowrider. Um, it looks just like the original Lowrider. They went back to that, that kind of flat brown color. It looks awesome. Just a super clean looking rod, full cork handle on there, Fuji reel seat. And they've updated the blank as well as they put new Fuji K-frame guides on there. So just overall, a little bit lighter, a little bit more sensitive. If you've never used the Falcon Lowrider, I highly recommend them. I personally have one. I have a big seven foot nine uh, deep cranking rod. It's one of the, my favorite rods. I use it all the time. Um, and it comes in at $129.99. So, I mean, for $129.99, you're getting a premium rod backed by Falcon's warranty. Pretty hard to beat that one. All right, thanks for tuning in for this week's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. For more information or to purchase a product seen here today, please click shop for the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.